Hey, I'm Nick for WDWNT Play, and today we are playing Animated, a new cooperative game by Prospero Hall and Funko Games. It is uh, by Walt Disney Animation Studios here, and it is uh, part of the Disney 100 collection. And uh, we're gonna see if we can make a Disney movie. Ooh. All right, I am joined here by Allison. Hi. Hi. Greta. <laughs> Hi. And Trent. Hi. And uh, this game, this is a this is a pretty fun game. Uh, it is ages 10 plus, two to four players. Uh, it says we could play this uh, 20 minutes per player. So strap in, everybody. We're looking at 80 <laughs> minutes with us. So hope you brought your popcorn. Uh, and, and we're gonna try to make some Disney movies. According according to the box, it says work together like the team at the famous Walt Disney Animation Studios to create movie magic. Produce five classic Disney films using detailed background art, vibrant paint colors, and lively sound to bring cherished stories to life on the screen. But watch out. The infamous villains of your feature films will rush your deadlines and create all the calamity they can. So as a team, we have to make uh, four Disney movies here today. Uh, but the Disney villains are working against us, and we have a deadline, so we, we, we better get cracking. This game, I think, is one of my favorite looking Disney games I have ever played. We're gonna show you why here. So, we got the setup here. We each chose a movie. What do you, what do you got, Allison? I have Fantasia. Yeah, Fantasia. So we're gonna try to do Fantasia there. I have Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. All right, classic. What do you got? Alice in Wonderland. Yeah. And I have 101 Dalmatians. All right, so the purpose of this game is to paint the background. We each have, a, we each have this animation card and we need to paint the, the background of the, of the animated scene. And then we need to put our characters, we need to paint our characters onto the scene. And, and these are beautiful cards too. We have uh, these transparent uh, cell cards. And uh, these are actually uh, what we have to, like, we each have three characters. We have to paint them onto our backgrounds, right? So we have to earn paint, we have to, uh, earn a bunch of different things in order to be able to do this, and, and these are these are gorgeous. This is this is really why I love this game. I mean, these are these are such nice pieces, um, and uh, we got to paint these on. So we have these pieces. We have the uh, uh, all the cards we earn. Like it looks like retro uh, Disney Animation Studios, right? Like just the look, the feel, the aesthetic of all this, and really nice cards too. Uh, very high quality game, wouldn't you say? I agree, yeah. Yeah, I love all the different pieces. It fits together really well. We're gonna have a good time playing this game. Look at, you get these little I know, tokens these, I was too, say, these right? Are, the tokens. These are my favorites, the so, to these tokens. So um, I have like the seven dwarves as, as some tokens here that we could use. You got Cheshire Cat. Yeah. Wonderful <laughs> little one there. Uh, Allison for Fantasia, we have uh, some uh, musical notes, and then for 101 Dalmatians, of course, we have some canine crunchies. And so we'll show you how we use these. We utilize these uh, to help each other out, help ourselves and each other out as we move about this game. Um, but we have everything set up. We're not gonna bore you with the little details here, but you'll see how we play the game. But we have it all set up. We have the main animation, like I guess the studio board here with the uh, animation cards. We have ink and paint, where we have some paint that we need to collect in order to uh, uh, build our scenes. We have our villains here. Uh, they're gonna be attacking us uh, during, the, uh, during the movie. They're gonna be causing calamity. So we have the different uh, Disney villains here. So uh, right now we have the Evil Queen, we have Chernabog, we have the Queen of Hearts. We have Cruella de Vil, and they're all gonna be causing havoc, trying to uh, push up our deadline. So we are going to take you through a, a full gameplay here. Um, we, like I said, everything is set up here. We already have um, all our tiles. We have all our cell cards. 
We have our, uh, we already dealt out animation cards. People get three of these animation cards to start the game. So I have some here in my hand right now that I can use for, for the game. So everybody gets three to start the game. Everybody also gets uh, one of these, which is a magic token. And we're gonna show you how to use those throughout the game. Those activate the magic card here on the, uh, on the board. So uh, lots to do. We got our villains in place. We got our deadline set up. Oh, we gotta lay out our calamity, okay. So uh, we are playing a um, mid-level game. You could, you could play like kind of a beginner game uh, average gameplay, you can play a more expert level gameplay. What that means is the amount of calamity cards that we put out to uh, have to fight against as we uh, go about our, our rounds. So for four people and for an average gameplay, it's six calamity cards. So those calamity cards are going to affect uh, how the villain attacks us at the end of each round. So our job real, really, you know, and, and a few of us here at the table have played a few times. Um, you know, one of the main uh, uh, struggles in this game is trying to help our own cause, help our team's cause, because we win or lose as a team. In order to win, we all have to complete our movies. And, uh, and then fighting the villains and, and getting rid of those Calamity cards, because those Calamity cards could potentially move up our deadline a lot faster. We don't want that to happen, but we also have to uh, you know, help ourselves as well. So you'll see how that uh, kind of plays out as we uh, go through this game. So I am gonna, so give us more room. I'm gonna put this down here, get that out of the way. Uh, I didn't plan this, I promise, but since I have the film that was made first, 1937, I get the first player token. So I get to go first. Look at that. <laughs> I didn't plan that. Okay, I kind of planned it. All right. Then, then it goes to your, the player's left. Is yeah, that we'll right? play okay. clockwise. Yeah. All right. So uh, let's let's get started. Let's let's make some movies. All right. Make All right. Magic. Yes. All right. All right, so I will start things off. Um, I, ooh, that background. So at the ooh. beginning of the game, it is really good to get your background in place because if you, you, can't, you, can't put down, um, you can't put down your character cards, right? You can't put these guys down until you build out your, your background. And I should show off one of these backgrounds. The background's pretty, pretty nice, nice color background pieces. So I gotta get those down before I can put my characters down and that's how you progress through the game. So when background is up high, you usually wanna take it because you usually wanna get some good background pieces here. So I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna take background at five, why not? So I'm gonna take the background piece and then I'm gonna actually slide everything down and then background goes down to one. Now, background being up here at five means I get to select five, I guess, value background pieces. So I could take like a four and a one, I could take a three and a two, I could take three ones and a two. So any combination of background pieces that add up to five, I could take and then add them to my board and paint them down. So this is great. So. You know, I am going to start off big and uh, I am going to go with the four. Mm -hmm. Yeah, get that painted down. And you covered something too, right? You I have did. To, you, get, you, you get to do that action? Yeah, I covered an ink and paint. So that means I get to take one paint bucket. So we'll, we'll show you how that works in just a second. So I'm gonna cover that up, right? And then I have one more, so I need a one piece. You know what? I'm gonna put that over there and take a magic. I'm gonna Ooh. cover up this space right here. And that means I could take another magic token, which is gonna really help me as the game goes on, because I can activate some Disney magic. Uh, so we got those in place. That's my five. Now I took a five piece. Now I'm gonna look at the calamity. Do I get to remove any calamity? No, sorry guys. I was pretty selfish there. Uh -uh. I, I, I didn't help anybody out because uh, I, I didn't remove any calamity. Now, if I took a two, 
I would have been able to remove some calamity there. Um, but I didn't take the two. I went for the five. Don't remove any calamity. So that's the first part of my turn. You do have these uh, uh, turn cards here. And so select an action tile, which I did. Do the tiles action, which I did. Slide action tiles, which I did. And now I get to place a character, place or use a character or remove and, and remove calamity. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna see if I can remove some calamity. Oh, see, I can help out, I can help out. I have a focus card. So I get to remove the focus calamity from the table, which Trent just did. Now we're down to five calamity cards, so less of a threat. Okay. And I'm gonna discard the focus card. Okay. Now my turn is over. Okay, so now it goes to me. Allison. All right, so looks like Ink and paint is going to give me the most right now because that's at the five. Um, yeah. No calamities require any nope. mm -mm. paint right now. What do we need to do? So there's a few that have a two on it, right? There's a few that have you a two. Use yep. two so, for your power. Yeah, so if I go for sound, mm -hmm. then that means that I'm going to look at my card over here. I don't know if you want to. I do. Uh, yeah, if yeah, you want to take a look at that. Here. So everybody, this is a great one. So everybody has a different sound power. And Allison's sound power with um, Fantasia is the Sorcerer's Apprentice. She could place a music token on X action tiles. So in this case, two action tiles, because she'd be taking sound at level two. Mm -hmm. And then she could place her music tokens on, those, on, on, on any two tiles. And when the player selects that that action tile with the music token, they could return the music token to Allison, mm. and that that tile stays exactly where it is. So that's a great way, like if background was at five, mm -hmm. and there was a music t token on it, mm -hmm. I could have left it at five for Allison, but I, it wasn't there, so mm -hmm. I didn't do it. Okay. And I took it, and now background's <laughs> at one. And Allison probably wants to do something else. <laughs> Um, okay, so that means I, would, I could, if I did that, I would yeah. use two. Yeah. So, um, do does, does anybody else want to use sound for their powers? Their, like, character? Okay. Like, My power is not useful. So not useful right now? Okay, so then I can yeah. use mine. So, uh, are there, which yeah. ones do we want to put? Pinch background up. You can which put it on background keep? and we can activate it once it gets to five. No, we, no. It, it, doesn't it stay with? It's. I think it stays on the stays number. Stays on the number, mm -hmm. yes. It actually stays on the number. Oh, it stays on the number. Okay. Stays on the number. So she could put it, put on, it five. on four so, and yeah. wait till background gets to four and then use it. You know, something like that. Okay. So what would be the most useful for me to put it on right now? I mean, usually four or five four is the five. place to start. Okay. Because so if one of us does ink and paint and then it moves magic up to four, that yeah. would be a good thing. Yeah. That would be really good. Okay, so do you want to do one that? One, okay, so yeah. a, and there's the two there. Okay, so we'll put five and four. Okay, perfect. Okay, so I took, so I did the, we can take the calamities away, right? Because I went and I did the second oh, yeah. tile. So that's two of them, right? Three. That I just, no, just, oh, it's no. three? three? Nope, <clears throat> hold, hold on. Ooh, I think we would just remove one. I think we'd have to pick two, three times. We'd have to take two, three times. Well, think about it. If we have, if there's multiple like cameras there, we have oh. to use multiple camera cards. You're right. Yeah. My, my mm. right? Yeah, I think. Yeah, oh. I think, I think that, yeah. <gasps> okay. That's scary. Okay, interesting. No, I see what you're saying. Okay. Well, at least I get rid of something, and it, yeah. ha it, it had to kind of be done anyway. Yeah. Um, so. Okay. Well, now backgrounds at two, so. That's yeah, that that right. would be useful. I think. Then from my turn. Uh, is there anything else that I can do at this point? Do you have a light bulb? Um, In your animation. Do right, I do have you. a light bulb? I do. Mm -hmm. We can get rid of that get one. Of that, okay, yep. so I was able to get rid of two calamities. Yep. And I think I'm done. Is that right? That is great. Okay. And then it goes to Trent. Mm -hmm. Okay. That. So for my turn, I'm going to do background. Another okay. two. Okay. We get rid of this calamity. And there's only one more we can remove because this one's I cannot remove. Right. right. Yep. And then I can choose one or two of anything. I can choose two and get an animation card. Yeah. 
and I might do that. Flip it over. Yeah, yeah so one. we can oh, see yeah. the yep. lovely background. There you go. Yeah. All right, and you, oh, I should have <laughs> looked at that. <laughs> Pretend I didn't look at that. <laughs> you didn't see anything. No, nothing at all. <laughs> and then short turn. All right, excellent job. All right. All right. Um, so let me just say right here, if Breda was not to remove any more Calamity, mm -hmm. we would have to suffer the Evil Queen's Calamity effect twice, two times. So for each Calamity card there, we have to suffer that effect twice. Now, it doesn't mean the deadline's gonna necessarily move twice, it just means we have to take our chances with her Calamity effect, which we'll go over when we get to the villain round, which is right after Breda's turn. But just wanted to say that. We can't get rid of one of those cards, but there is a card there. Now, I'm not saying you should. <laughs> you don't have to get rid of it. Pressure's on. You don't have to get rid of it. I I, I don't mind taking our chances. What What is the... Do what we, is her calamity? Yeah, what so is... So, the calamity card that. is um, collectively discard two animation cards at random if they match advance the deadline. Oh, I see. Okay. Okay. Um, and so I, I'm not worried about that I'm one. I'm not very worried about that. I'm not about worried that about either. that. Okay. I think we'd be good. Okay. But I want to build my background up, but it's at yeah. one. Yeah. So. So. I think. I, part of me is thinking two for the calamity, but part of me is thinking five just for my own game. Right. But they I, could be useful for calamities later on too. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do ink and paint. Okay. And mm -hmm. I'm not gonna use the special, so I'm gonna go ahead and move the cards up. Okay. And Good I get choice. Five get ink and paints. Five. I'm Ooh. definitely gonna take a mm, while absolutely. here for one. So kind of like the background, she gets to choose like a total of five, you know, like so she could take a four and a one, three and a two, four, four ones, <laughs> three ones and two, any combination mm -hmm. here. All right. She so got the wild. Um, I need a green and purple for my board. Yep, so you got three. You got another wild there, too. I know, I think I'm gonna do the wild one. Go I'm for sorry. it. I'm sorry, guys. Go Don't for apologize, it. you got some good stuff now happening. Now all the paint slides down. True. Going way down. Okay. All right, and you're not getting rid of any calamity, obviously. I don't have yep. any, yeah, yeah, sorry. All right, so we got through one round here. We did pretty good. Some of us painted down some stuff. Some of us got some stuff. Uh, we removed four out of six calamity, but we have two left. So that means. <laughs> <laughs> we have to do her calamity effect, which is collectively discard two animation cards at random if they match advance the deadline. Now we have to do that twice. Okay. So. Um, I can take a hit. I, I, what, you could remove, you could do two cards. Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead and remove, go ahead and discard two. They don't match, so he's discarding teamwork and inspiration. They okay. don't match, so that's good. So okay. we don't provoke calamity there. Now, we have to, we have to discard two more. Okay. I can only discard one out of my hand because my cards match. Oh, I can. We can't tell each other what we have. Okay. But we can anyone discard two cards that don't match? I'm able to do that. I can do that. You got. You decide. Rock paper scissors. <laughs> Ready? Ready? Rock paper scissors. Shoot. Ooh. Oh. So, I lose. She, yes. I lose. So All Allison's right. gonna discard there we go. Two. Um, these do not match. Good job, All Allison. Right, thank All right, you. focus and grit. So we're gonna discard those. Now we suffer no calamity by the queen. Now, brother, we do move up one on the deadline because that was the end of that round, but we don't suffer any additional uh, deadline movement there. Now the evil queen gets down to shuffle down to the bottom of the pack. And our next villain this round is going to be Chernabog. From Fantasia, from my movie. From Fantasia. All right, so we'll be facing Chernabog this round. Now, also at the end of the round, the two Calamity cards go to the bottom of the Calamity deck, and we get six new Calamity cards right, turned so. over. And that was the end 
of round one. All right. Two hours later. And we didn't finish our film. Oh. Well, we got we got one movie done. We did. We we fell only a little bit short. We we did paint all our backgrounds. We painted all our cells onto the backgrounds. Uh, Trent got his villain placed. Yeah. Um, but everybody else, four. we fell a little short. I fell the shortest, I think. I, you know, if we I think so. Yeah. If we yeah. did novice, we. Would have well, won. if we did novice, we would. We, we might would have, won. yeah. Because we'd only have four right, cards right. instead of six. All right, so that is Disney animated. I, although we lost here, um, I mean, I had a great time. I, that was I that was really game. fun. Um, I really do enjoy this game. It gets very stressful at the end. Very stressful. Like, it's very stressful. fun at the beginning. Yeah. Then it turns into a very stressful experience. At the beginning, you have fun, fun as everything's yeah. kind of coming together. Yeah. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, you realize you're on 11, and nobody's <laughs> close to finishing. So then right? by 12, everyone's right there. And then I, by 13, you're just not done. Like, <laughs> we did so good. I felt really good halfway through. Me and too. then the pressure if, just builds. If we didn't get that heart... That, then we would have won. We did. We moved it up one yeah. extra spot because we, we failed the calamity. Yeah. So is that our only calamity though? Yeah. That's the only yeah. calamity we failed. Fail. And it was yeah. the worst time. Right. I know. Here, I'll take my little my, so my creatures So let's talk about um, our, our ratings back. on this game. Um, so we are uh, going to rate each uh, uh, piece of this game on uh, a scale of one to five paint buckets. Oh. Yeah. And then we are gonna let people know if we either um, screen this film, oh. not scream, screen, uh, or or, what or scrap, it? scrap it, or scrap, scrap it, it. Scrap I scrap think, it. right? Mm -hmm. no, scrap it, scrap screen it, it or scrap it, screen it or scrap it. So, all right, so let's go around the board. Um, we're gonna talk about uh, the playability of mm. this game. Um, how did it flow? Uh, you know, what would you think about the playability? One to five paint buckets. Gosh, um, I think I might do, I think I might do four paint buckets for this four one. Four paint buckets, yeah. yeah. There were definitely a couple of times where we kind of got a little bit confused mm -hmm. with um, like, okay, like, wait, do we put this down here? Do we have to, like, we had to make, make a call a couple of times. Yeah. What you call it, house rules. Yeah. Um, so I, uh, I think that's why I, I had to take it down a notch, mm -hmm. but I think that otherwise, um, um, it, it yeah. has a lot of um, a lot of uh, repeatability. Yeah, I think that that's like a, a big thing. I, I want to do. Uh, I want to have a different movie. I want to yeah. do. I want to like experience each of them and go through their different kind of abilities and see how they play out. And I want to see, do I focus on the calamity far less and mm -hmm. see what happens, focus yeah. on it far more and kind of see what kind of other ways to strategize. So I, I want to play it again. Yeah, well, I know the first few times I played it, like didn't focus as heavily on the background. And I don't know if, you know, and, and this this game I did and, and lost, and, and but in the game I won, you know, I we, Focused on the background. I don't know mm -hmm. what is the what is a great strategy, but Brenda, what would you rank this one to five paint buckets in playability? I would give it about three paint buckets. Three, honestly. okay. Honestly, yeah, because I don't know. I I have I played it a few times, and even mm -hmm. then, I had a few questions going through it, and there's just so many wording issues, I guess you could say, where it's just very easy to kind of go one way or the other. It depends on who you're playing with. It's kind of hard to keep track, um, but as far as replayability, obviously I, I really love it. I play, I played it a few times. I've chosen the same movie every time. I don't know why I was like, yeah, different movie. No, uh, but it's it's so satisfying. It's just great. I love it. Playability was great, but I still just feel like Three. I had a lot of problems with it. So. All right, Trent, how about you? First time playing this one. First time playing, I give it a four. Um, my reasoning for this is even though there are a lot of issues with wording and figuring it out, I feel like house rules give a, a sentimental value to the game because you're not playing a pre-made game. They're playing a game that you've kind of put your own spin on for the people you're playing with. So it kind of gives a different gameplay depending on who you're playing with. And then replay this, I want to play another game. 
like if it wasn't so late i would say <laughs> we could just run another game here but i want to go to bed so yeah, are you saying right. that you are just a little bit sleepy i'd say i'm a little <laughs> sleepy right? so um, i'd give a four yeah, I, I'm right there between the three and the four. I think I'm leaning four just because I have so much fun playing this game. But I, you, you both brought up my two negatives about this game. I think that um, you know there are some things that are ambiguous about the rules. I, I everything I want if I in order to give it a perfect score, everything I read, I just you know. You kind of just need to know. There's too many little things. You're like, wait, what does that mean? Here, or here, or this or that. And then the other reason I knock it down is because it we slow down to in all three plays. And I played this three times now. You'd think I'd be able to move a little faster through it, and you can't. And and I love the co-op play, but there's way too much slowing down and thinking, all right, if I do this, you do that, you do that, you do that. And we can't just play, you know? And, and that's part of the game and you have to be ready for that, but it does slow down the game a little bit. Not too much where I don't want to play it anymore, but the game does move a little slow. So I'll go for it, that is pretty high, but um, that's why it's not perfect, even though I love this game. All right, game design, uh, one to five paint buckets. I'm gonna give us five paint buckets. Yeah. It's so pretty. This might be the prettiest game that I've tabletop game that I've ever played. It's yeah. so pretty. Like that that's the first thing that like attracted me to this mm -hmm. as I saw these beautiful animation cells and I was just completely drawn to it. Mm -hmm. Um it, it it's absolutely gorgeous. Looking at the art is so important and so visually engaging. Yeah. Um and I'm sure that you guys are gonna talk about like the the game pieces like <laughs> like a lot but, but well, my yeah. yeah so I'm I'm gonna focus on how pretty the cells are right. five. Brother? Five, yeah. Yeah. All Disney fans will love this. Like, there's nothing like making the movie, seeing it be built before your eyes, and yeah, playing with the pieces and just everything about it is just amazing. I, I love it. It's design wise, five out of five for sure. No complaints, honestly. Yeah. Even with the. No, it works. It, it really it works. works. It this really one does. feels even better than the one we usually play with, right? Like, it I, does. I, yeah, yeah, it all goes in. And sure. yeah, sorry. Trent? I have to say five as well. I do not have as vibrant of a board, but I do like the, um, the little design on the side here, if we can show that part. Oh, yeah. The red and white there. I don't know. I think it's a yeah. cool little design I mean, that kind of fits nice. in there. The artwork yeah. on these these boards is fantastic. They, they put a lot of yeah. little details into every yeah. piece of it. All the it's even the art, animation cards just look good. Yeah. Yeah. And I love touching. I, I love just the feel of these little bones. Yeah. And the cat looks really cool too. Oh, I know. It's all <laughs> it's all made really well. That that's the thing. I, I give it a five as well. Every piece is perfect. There's nothing that I would want differently about it. Um, uh, from the artwork, so you get the nostalgia of of each movie, and they each have their own little style to them. Um, and then, like I said, the, this, this artwork out of the main board is right out of the like 50s, you know, 40s, 50s Disney Animation Studios. So it puts you in that feel. Um, I really like that. We didn't even talk really much about these game say, boxes. The boxes are so, so cute. You get these like game boxes that you get to package all your individual um, uh, game pieces in. So the Fantasia pieces would go in here. So you keep everything together. Um, they thought about everything and everything feels super quality. And yeah. so as a Disney fan, and the fact that each each movie has its own different pieces, like there's yeah. seven dwarfs, there's you know mm -hmm. six canine crunchies. There, mm -hmm. Now uh, with the Aladdin set, there's a genie, right? Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of cool stuff. And I, I like it because they designed it where Everything is different, so the refit, replayability is there too, mm -hmm. right? Like, so you can use the different pieces, never get tired of it. Real All right. quick, I do yeah. just want to add, I feel like the design of like the game itself is just so cohesive too yeah. with the idea of what you're doing, making the movie, the background, the animation, like everything just fits really mm -hmm. well with what you're doing and it 
really kind of immerses you more into the game too to feel like oh I'm making this movie mm -hmm. I have a deadline like I need these things for my movie it's all very cohesive mm -hmm. everything's there and everything has a specific place mm -hmm. that it goes right mm -hmm. so I love that you don't have to think about it you don't have to it, worry it about nice it it's nice seeing it all fit into its squares yeah, on the board yeah. There. Yeah. I mean even these two pieces they they actually yeah. fit oh together. yeah your, your whole play like, board over here yeah. just connects uh, all right real quick though uh, Beginner, mm -hmm. wh who'd you, who would you, who's this for? Beginner, intermediate, expert level player? Uh, I'm gonna go intermediate, uh, just because some of the, the rules and back and forth is a little bit more involved mm -hmm. than, than I would say for beginner, but I don't think you need to be an expert for this. Yeah, rather? Intermediate. Yeah, Trent? Intermediate, because we had some moments where we needed critical thinking. I feel like if you're just yeah. like a kid trying to play a game, you're not gonna think as critical as we were. Yeah, I, I agree with you. I, I say intermediate, same reason you did, Trent, is, is there are some things that I think if you're just like someone playing Uno or something like that, which is a beginner type game, I think this is a, definitely a step up where you got to think real ahead strategy and things like that. Not everybody really wants to put that much you, effort You really into feel a game. like you're making a movie. You do, you do. You have and, that stress. And so that gets us to our overall rating I have a feeling where we're going with this, but do you want to <laughs> screen it or do you want to scrap it? Mm. All right, Allison. Let's screen the movie. Screen it. Let's screen it. What is your biggest reason? Is it what was your favorite thing about this game? The visuals. The visuals. The visuals. Yeah. yeah. All right, Brenda. I'm screening it and screaming. It. <laughs> screening it and screaming it. All right. I love it. And, and it was it your main? Fun part about this game is it? Oh my goodness! Is it the design, the cells, the same? The fact that it's Alice in Wonderland. I honestly, I'd have to say the art that mm -hmm. like it comes with. It yeah. just really, it just really adds that extra touch to it that really just puts it over the edge. They've been doing me. a great job with that lately mm -hmm. on other games that came out recently too. Mm -hmm. Trent, um, I'm screening it. Yeah, obviously. Um, I'd have to say it, it's just a fresh idea. I mean, yeah, most games are like four people against each other. Mm -hmm. But now we're working together with that same level of stress as those other games. Yeah. And it, it's just different along with the art. It all, it just, it's a feel that you don't get in most board games. Mm -hmm. And I, I like it. Yeah. It was very fun to play. Uh, I'm screening it as well, uh, definitely. Uh, I, I want to play this game over and over and over mm -hmm. again. Replayability is, is right there because I can play with different movies. Um, I also, my favorite part about this though is the story. It actually has a cohesive yeah. story that makes sense and the game mechanics go along with it. I'm trying to get paint to paint my, to paint my cells. I'm trying to put down my background. I need that before I could paint anything on there. I have a deadline that, that is like inching up and making us anxious and we want, and then, I have a, and then that Disney magic part of it where there's a villain trying to stop us mm -hmm. from completing our task, right? So that's that extra like, yeah, this is real, you're making a movie, but also you're in your own little movie and the villains are trying to stop you. Mm -hmm. I love it, can't recommend it enough. This is a fantastic game. Um, so Disney animated, let's grab, Let's grab the box here. Just so. show my shirt too. Yeah, right. <laughs> I, I know. Like, uh oh, where'd the instruction book go? I don't know. Go? I don't know. Go? Uh, oh, here it is. Uh, this is this is a great game. They also have a um, a strategy guide at the at the back of the uh, booklet here, which tells you a good strategy to use when playing the different characters. I know we and never we read this, right? <laughs> <laughs> we should have read it, <laughs> right? Um, this is cool. I think we're going to post pictures of this uh, for everybody to check out. So, um, but it, you know, it's an easy, easy read, easy instruction booklet, you know? So, um, yeah, this is a, this is definitely something you should add to your collection. Part of the Disney 100, uh, they're doing a lot of great things recently. And this is just another great thing to add. So that is Disney Animated. Uh, a big thank you to uh, Funko Games for uh, getting us this game to try out. We had a absolute blast playing it. Um, yeah, pick it up now. Uh, you can scan the QR code, click the link, go grab your own copy of this game. 
It is uh, one of the most fun games I've played in a long time. Great, great uh, Disney themed game as well. So great pickup. All right. Well, thank you all for joining us today uh, for our playthrough of Animated. We'll see you next time here on WDWNT Play.